Have you ever wondered how a single passage in the Bible could completely transform your outlook on life? Philippians 4 holds the key to finding peace, rejoicing even in tough times, and trusting in God's sovereignty. Imagine starting your day with this powerful mindset. What kind of impact could it have on the rest of your day? Stay tuned because I am about to share how you can unlock this transformative perspective. Mornings can be tough, right? You wake up and suddenly you are hit with a wave of stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. You are thinking about all the things you need to do, all the tasks you need to accomplish, and all the responsibilities you need to take care of. It is easy to feel like you are already behind before the day has even started. And if you are not careful, that negativity can seep into every area of your life. You start to feel like you are stuck in a rut, like you cannot catch a break, and like you are just trying to survive the day rather than thrive in it. But what if I told you there is a better way? What if I told you that you can start your day with a sense of purpose, a sense of calm, and a sense of direction? It is not about pretending that your problems do not exist. It is about recognizing that your problems are not the only thing that exist. You are more than your circumstances, and you have the power to choose how you respond to them. As Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You know, for many of us, the morning is a time of chaos. We're rushing to get ready. We are rushing to get the kids to school. We are rushing to get to work on time. And in the midst of all that chaos, it is easy to forget what is truly important. We forget to breathe, we forget to pray, and we forget to focus on what really matters. But what if we could change that? What if we could start our day with a sense of intention, a sense of purpose, and a sense of direction? As Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 reminds us, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. By focusing on these virtues, we can transform our mornings from chaotic to calm, from rush to intentional. It's about setting aside a few moments each morning to center ourselves, to breathe deeply, to pray earnestly, and to align our hearts with God's will. When we start our day with this mindset, we invite peace and purpose into our lives, allowing us to navigate the day's challenges with grace and confidence. So let's make a commitment to begin each day with a sense of intention, focusing on what truly matters and trusting that God will guide us through every moment. The passage in Philippians 4 encourages us to cultivate a mindset of peace, gratitude, and strength. It reminds us that God is always with us, always for us, and always uh, working everything out for our good. This mindset allows us to rejoice even in the midst of difficulties, not because the challenges are not real, but because we know that God is greater than our circumstances. When we start our day with this perspective, we can face whatever comes our way with confidence and courage knowing that we are not alone and that God's presence and power are guiding us. Let us now enter a time of prayer, fully trusting in God's goodness and His ability to bless and transform every part of our lives. In the most powerful, victorious, and righteous name of Jesus, we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We thank you for your unwavering love and faithfulness, for your grace that sustains us, and for your peace that surpasses all understanding. As we reflect on the words of Philippians 4, we are reminded of the importance of cultivating a mindset of peace, gratitude, and strength. Sovereign Lord, you tell us in Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5 to rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Lord, we rejoice in your presence, knowing that you are always near to us.
We choose to find joy in you, regardless of our circumstances, because we know that you are greater than any challenge we face. Lord, we lift our hearts in praise and thanksgiving, rejoicing in your unwavering love and faithfulness. In moments of joy and in times of trial, we find our strength and solace in you. Your presence is our constant companion, a beacon of hope that guides us through the darkest valleys and the brightest peaks. We rejoice because we are never alone. You are always with us, walking beside us, carrying us when we are weak, and celebrating with us in our victories. We choose to rejoice in you, Lord, because your joy is our strength. It is a joy that transcends our circumstances, a joy that is rooted in the unshakable truth of your promises. Even when the storms of life rage around us, we can stand firm, knowing that you are our refuge and our fortress. We rejoice because your love casts out all fear, and your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guards our hearts and minds. Let our gentleness be evident to all, as a reflection of your grace and mercy. May our lives be a evidence to your goodness, shining brightly in a world that so desperately needs your light. Help us to embody your love in our interactions with others, showing kindness, compassion, and understanding. Let our words and actions be a source of encouragement and hope, pointing others to the one who is the source of all joy and peace. We rejoice because we know that you are near, Lord. Your presence is a constant reminder that we are loved, cherished, and valued. You are the God who sees us, who knows us intimately, and who cares for us deeply. In your presence, we find the fullness of joy, and in your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We rejoice because we are confident that you are working all things together for our good, according to your perfect will. You encourage us to bring all our worries and concerns to you in prayer, with a heart full of thanksgiving. Instead of allowing anxiety to take root in our hearts, you invite us to lay our burdens at your feet, trusting that you will take care of us. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but a demonstration of our faith in your power and love. When we come to you with our petitions, we do so with the confidence that you hear us and that you are already at work in our lives. We are reminded to approach you with a spirit of gratitude, acknowledging the countless blessings you have already bestowed upon us. This attitude of thankfulness shifts our focus from our problems to your goodness, filling our hearts with hope and peace. In return, you promise to guard our hearts and minds with a peace that is beyond human comprehension. This divine peace acts as a shield, protecting us from the worries and fears that seek to overwhelm us. It is a peace that remains steadfast, even in the midst of life's storms, because it is rooted in the assurance of your presence and your promises. As we start our day, we choose to embrace this peace, knowing that it is a gift from you. We trust that no matter what challenges we may face, you are with us, guiding us, and providing for us. We rest in the knowledge that your plans for us are good and that you are working all things together for our benefit. Philippians 4 verse 8 reminds us, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Lord, guide our thoughts to dwell on these virtues. Help us to focus on what is true and noble, to seek what is right and pure, to appreciate what is lovely and admirable. May our minds be filled with thoughts that are excellent and praiseworthy, reflecting your character and your will for our lives. As we meditate on these virtues, transform our hearts and minds. Let our thoughts align with your truth, and let our lives be a testament to your goodness. 
in every situation, help us to see the beauty and goodness that you have placed around us. May our thoughts be a source of encouragement and inspiration, not only to ourselves, but to those around us. Gracious Father, Philippians 4, verse 11 through 13, teaches us the secret of contentment, and it states, I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. Lord, grant us the strength to be content in every situation. In moments of abundance and in times of need, help us to find our contentment in You alone. Teach us to rely on Your strength and not our own, for we know that our own efforts are limited, but Your power is boundless. Remind us daily that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. When we face challenges and obstacles, let us draw from your infinite reservoir of strength, knowing that with you nothing is impossible. So as we begin our day, we ask for your guidance and direction. Illuminate our paths with your wisdom and lead us in the way we should go. Fill us with a sense of purpose and intention so that every action we take and every decision we make is aligned with your will. Help us to prioritize what truly matters, to focus on the eternal rather than the temporary, and to seek your presence in every moment. May our lives be a reflection of your love and grace to those around us, shining as a beacon of hope and encouragement. We thank you, Lord, for the promises in Philippians 4. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, guiding us through the uncertainties of life. We hold on to your word and trust that you are working all things together for our good. Even when we cannot see the full picture, we have faith that you are orchestrating every detail according to your perfect plan. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let this peace be our anchor in the storms of life, a constant reminder of your presence and your promises. Thank you, God, for your unwavering love, your endless mercy, and your amazing grace. As I embark on this new day, I place my trust in you, knowing that with you by my side, I can overcome any obstacle. May I always remember how blessed I am to be your child and to receive your countless blessings. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, I pray. Amen. Comment Praise Jesus below if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. All glory belongs to God alone.